COVID and stuff like that, you know, there's a lot of precautions and things in place. Uh, you can still sanitize, you can still wear your mask. But if you look around the restaurant, it's actually pretty empty, um, so which is fantastic because I think I would probably prefer for it to be a little bit empty because we prefer quieter places. But yeah, looking forward to this fish. We ordered the um, platter for two, which comes with calamari, a fish called snook and hake, and those are going to be crumbed and it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be really, really good. So what we've got here, the fisherman's basket, it costs 180 rand. I'm sure we'll do the dollar conversion at some point and pop that in there. And then we've got two cokes each, 20 rand each. Um, so all together that brings our total bill to 200. Now the fisherman's basket, it's got hake for me, it's got snook for kashi, it's got uh, calamari as well, it's got chips. So I think that's going to be a pretty, pretty good meal for two. We're going we're gonna to see once this arrives and we're, well, the story seems quite interesting about Snookies and how it began and what happened is that this guy Hans I forget what the, the name is but we'll link all that content in the in the you know kind of below but what happens is that this guy he wants to head over to Japan or something and then World War II breaks out Polish guy and then he's not able to go there's all sorts of issues in terms of traveling there so he gets turned back at Durban I believe and then so he goes from Durban he comes down to Cape Town and then it's like he's looking for work to do and then he opens up a fish and chip place. Yeah. 
Okay. So he opens up a fish and chip place. And then over time it becomes so popular. I don't know, it was in a couple of years or something that became so popular. And we're going to get a shot of the... He, he bought this like an old bus and he converted the bus into a fish and chip shop. Which is so cool. So he's selling it from the bus. Anyway, he, he then expands once it becomes popular and buys this factory. And this is the factory that, you know, this factory area is what we're in right now. So that's really, really cool. And now there's like multiple snookies. We, we're in the one in Hout Bay, but there's one in Claremont. There's another one um, at Sea Point, I believe. So quite a successful, quite, quite a wonderful success story. Anyway, our food has just arrived. I am very keen to tuck in. We've got hake, we've got calamari, we've got snook, and we've got chips to show you. And we've got a roll as well that came with it. So, so let's take a look at the food. Okay, so the food has just arrived, and I'm gonna let John do the honors of actually opening that and unveiling what is inside. I can't wait, Ooh, this is breakfast. La, la. So hungry, oh my Whoa. god. There we oh. go. Wow, that's some serious, seriously good, and even, even the lemon wedges are looking pumped. <laughs> so that's really cool. This is really cool. So we've got a piece of egg, we've got a very big piece of snook. We've got our lemon wedges to squeeze on there. Slop chips underneath, they're looking really, really good. Um, we've got a roll as well in order to, to complement if we need it, but the chips are... Where's the calamari? Oh, the calamari is, is over here on the side. I don't even know if you can see. But we'll, we'll show that calamari. Yeah, let me... Uh -huh. Aha, okay. yeah. there we go. So this is a this is a pretty full this is gonna be a pretty full meal and I'm re it, it looks great. It looks really good. On the table we've got uh, we've got salt, we've got tomato sauce, we've got I don't even know what this is. I was assuming that it'd be vinegar, maybe it's soy sauce, I don't know. It's definitely vinegar and definitely not soy sauce. <laughs> Well, there you go. So, yeah, we're going to tuck in yeah. and we'll let you know how this tastes. Okay. Whoa. Okay, can you fool me? Okay, this is actually breakfast right now. So I'm starving and we didn't eat any breakfast and we didn't eat, eat, have any coffee. So I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to trying this fish out. It looks so glorious. Um, and I'm going to just take a bite. So we've got the hake and we've also got snook. And if you are in Cape Town, um, then you have to eat snook um, because hake you can find pretty much everywhere, but snook is actually what we feel is like it's more cultural. Um, it seems like something that people like more here in the Cape, and it's more common and it's more popular, and we see it everywhere. So we are assuming that it is, um, you know, something that people um, it's part of the culture and the heritage of this place. So you have to try snook um, anywhere you go if you get a fish, um, you know, kind of deal in a fish shop in Cape Town. So I'm going to try that out. Um, so let's start with the hake. Mm. Wow, it's so good. It's exactly, it's perfectly salted. It's so soft and flaky as you would expect a, a, a hake to be. And now I'm going to go for the snook, but I forgot to put some lemon on. So I'm going to actually just squirt some lemon on first. Okay, now we're going to taste the snook. I'm just going to try taking the meat first because um, I, I can't remember ever eating snook, actually. What the? Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Glorious. It's a lot more meaty than the hake. Very dense, very meaty, thick, nice piece of fish they got here. And the batter is crispy golden the chips are not as limp and slop as we call it in south africa as i thought but that's absolutely fine i think it's a it's an in-between uh, of what i like which is the slop chips and what john likes which is a crispy chip um and with the lemon it's just outstanding so having a very good time right now <laughs> okay so kashi's had her her breakfast bites I'm going to go in for mine as well I see that she's given some huge portions here on the plate I'm just going to open this out you see that I'm rocking the knife and fork you know I think that 
people are gonna have a go. You must yes. have a go, kind of I community. It's okay. Am it's okay. But anyway, now first up is the hake. Hake is a fish that I really enjoy. I've had snook many times in my life. And <laughs> unlike you, Kashi, I've had snook many times. But um, hake for me is always cool. Let's go ahead and, and have a taste of this. That is very satisfying. There's tons of flavor. Mm -hmm. It's such a nice, crispy batter. A nice crispy batter, full of flavor. It's very salty, but it's not too salty. Like, I'm a person that my taste buds can really pick up things like salt and sugar and whatever else. And this is just, it's just right. It's giving you all of the flavor, all of the crispy, warm goodness of that batter and it's allowing the fish to just kind of almost like melt in your mouth once it gets in there. Very cool way to have a hake for breakfast, let me tell you. Okay, cool. So, we checked that out. Now I want to taste this bad boy. Our snook. And I know that I should be tearing this thing with my hands. But then I also have to record after this, you know, I have to hold the camera and stuff. So I'm coming up with a very good excuse. Anyway. <laughs> Jeez, so this is also looking good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Wow. I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I like it more than the hake. <laughs> wow. I like it more than the hake, and hake is like one of my favorite fish ever. But that snook is absolutely packed full of flavor. Again, like with the like with the hake, there's a lot of good saltiness in there, but like just the right kind of saltiness. But I think what really makes the snook stand out is that the texture really works with that nice crispy batter. The texture that's more meaty, more substantial. So the hake is really cool because it's almost like the the meat of the fish is like this melt in the mouth sensation. So you crunch into that nice salty, tasty, crispy batter, and then that's giving you this crunch while the fish almost just like melts in there. Right, and it's giving you that hate flavor. But now with the snook, the snook is also coming to the party and it's saying, hey, I'm here. I'm also supposed to get some time on the palate. I'm also supposed to get some time with the, with the texture. So it's also, it's also in there and it's making its presence known, but in all the right ways. Th this is just absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and taste one of these chips now. That is the perfect pairing. And that's the perfect pairing. So the chip, as Kashi said, is in between the crispy, crunchy chip that's my ideal state and the soft, floppy, slop chip that, um, that so many enjoy. This is an in-between. Inside, it's soft, it's, 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 it's soft and floppy and, and, and soft, but on the outside, it's got that crispiness. So this is a great, this is a great in-between. I, I can happily eat, eat these chips. This is a fantastic meal. Ooh, we haven't tasted, uh, neither of us have told you about the calamari. I mean, look at this bad boy. This is looking like really good. And there's tons of it in this fisherman's basket. Mm. 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 That's also crispy. It's got a beautiful, crunchy outer layer. And it gives way to really, really good calamari. It's so beautiful to chew, to bite into that. It's beautifully cooked. Wonderful flavor. The flavor's a little bit more, say, gentle on the palate than this rocking batter on the hake and on the snook, but excellent flavor there on the calamari. Really good. This is a top-notch basket. Well, I didn't get any um, coffee this morning, but uh, there's plenty of caffeine in coke. I just want to close off by saying that this meal was really really fantastic pumping meal I, and I think especially for breakfast um, it's like every single bite was really packed full of flavor it was packed full of experience it was packed full of just satisfaction I must say that this was just an incredibly satisfying meal every bite every forkful you can see that I've, I've even I've even brought in some hand action and that tells you that will tell you there, there is the 
there is the mark. If I'm willing to sacrifice and get sticky, sticky fingers for the food, that tells you there's no, uh, there's no doubt now what's going on. You know, so it's gone down absolutely here at Snookies. Uh, we've polished the hake. I'm about to polish off the snook. Um, chips are, are just about done. So fantastic, absolutely fantastic. We've got just a few little pieces of calamari, and uh, I think that's just going to be a nice little snack for <laughs> for when we arrive home. Beautiful meal. I just want to say what a fantastic meal and you know we came here right on time because when we came um, there was no queues it was actually empty but now it's pretty pretty full um, so I think um, around about 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock lunchtime obviously you know on a Sunday people probably finishing off with church or whatever and um, you know heading over so I think it would be in my opinion if you want to if you want to come at a quiet time probably better to come in the mornings um, you know because midday it seems like it fills up pretty 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 much so um, anyway we are now satisfied very happy have had breakfast and lunch um, so that's brunch and um, now we're on our way to the markets hopefully pick up something um, for dinner tonight and then um, yeah it's a beautiful Sunday Well, we are going to grab two of your lapas, lamb lapas. 